optimum results limited. And despite the common belief, starting a business does not always mean you need deep pockets or a rich daddy to finance it. If money is a barrier to your entrepreneurial dream, then Tom Cooney is here again to put your mind at ease. Good morning to you, Tom. Morning, Cleo. You're very welcome back. Um, it is the great myth, isn't it? And it's quite frightening for people when they think about, you know, setting up their dream business. Um, you know, the money aspect can be scary. I'm either going to have to go to the bank or I'm going to have to, you know, go into a huge amount of debt here to get this off the ground. You're here to tell us this morning that that's not always the case. No. Um, one of the things that we've been doing throughout the series is we've been trying to make entrepreneurship more accessible to people. And we've been debunking a lot of the myths that surround it. And this is another one that to start any business, then I must have a whole bunch of, of, of money. Obviously, you're going to need some money and you're going to have to take some risk. But the, the amount of money that's involved frequently is not as much as, as people suspect it to be. And also is that there's more places for them now to go to to access money than ever was available before in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about borrowing money there? We're borrowing and, and by way of support agencies. Mm -hmm. There's basically there's, there's three forms of finance. There's the, the equity finance where you put money into a business and you get a share of ownership. Now that could be either your own money or, or somebody else giving you money. The second type would be a loan, where a bank or a venture capitalist gives you money and you have to repay them. And the third type is through grant aids, through support agencies. Now, with support agencies, you don't get money for, uh, you only get money if you're manufacturing or internationally traded services. If you're setting up, for example, a, a hairstyling business, then you won't get money for that type of operation. But the type of money available in grants, the type of money available through uh, loans and the type of money available through equity is now much more available than we've ever known it. Like, just the equity, for example, like 20 years ago, people didn't have the disposable income to put into businesses. Now people are looking for you know, business opportunities to invest money. Now, some of the things that misconceptions that, that people have about starting up a business, right? They, they, and, and this is one of the reasons why they think they have to have lots of money. Is they think, okay, I have to have a, a, a decent premises, so they have to spend money on that. Um, I have to launch, and my, my initial launch, my promotion's got to be very glossy, very expensive, top of the range. Um, legal fees, good lawyers. I, I have to have a car because that's all part of the image. That's important too. And of course, I have to pay myself a decent salary. Yeah, these are all. This is all nonsense. Well, not necessarily not, yeah. but they're not necessary. You, you, you raise a couple of really interesting points there. Like, like we can go through them one by okay, one. Like building and stuff. Yeah, the premises. The premises. Like, you only need good premises if you've got clients coming to you on a regular basis. Like, there was a person came to me last year setting up a business, and they said, we're thinking of renting this particular place. It was costing like 3000 a month, and they didn't need it. They had another option where their brother uh, had an attic that would, they could give for like for free, and they said, but it doesn't look good. And I said, how many times are you going to meet clients? And they said, maybe once, twice a month. I said, meet them in a the hotel. Mm -hmm. You know, meet them for lunch. Meet them. You know, you don't have to meet them in the premises. And they went ahead with the three thousand euro a month lease, and and very quickly we're we're, we're in trouble. One of the things I think people can do here is is bootstrap their operation. By bootstrapping, I mean is look for ways of spending inexpensively. Like you can do a whole bunch of things without spending a lot of money. Like another point that you raised there, like another interesting one is, I must spend a lot of money to have a, you know, a really good launch. No, you don't. You, know? you, like you need some promotional material, but, but how much do you really need? How much of that could you do yourself? Can you do it by desktop? Can you do it, you know, can you get friends to do it? That's what I mean by bootstrapping access resources and people around you to help you to set up the business. Tell us about the, the salary for yourself as the entrepreneur setting up the business, because people feel that, especially if they're going from a, a job, a PAYE job, that they have to be drawing down a salary every every week, every month. Yeah, this is this is a really difficult one, because obviously if you've got um, like family commitments and mortgage commitments, and then you're obviously going to have to draw some kind of salary. But increasingly, I noticed it in the States first when, when I spent some time out there, a lot of people started their own business without paying themselves a salary. And I, I had a next student into one of my classes recently, and he was saying he sold his car and gave himself no salary for nine months. That's how he started his business. One of the best and, and sorry, he's now, you know, he's now reaping the rewards of it. 
he may not have had a salary for nine months, but that company has gone has really gone places, and he's now worth some good money. One of the company's best known entrepreneurs, whose name I won't mention, but I know him very well, actually worked for another company and subsidised his work on the company that he started here, which has went on to become very, very successful. So that's the level of, of effort that you have to put into it. Not yeah. only not take any money out of it, but maybe go and take a second job to support yourself while you're, you're, you're getting your own business off the ground. Uh, uh, like, certainly, like, there's, when I look at business plan, I look at, at, at um, people starting up their own businesses. There's three things I look at. I look at the, the team or the person that's starting the idea. I look at the opportunity that, that, that they're targeting. Now, if you've got a good team and a good opportunity, the third thing I look at is, is resources. Believe me, if you've got a good opportunity, good team, you'll always get the resources. Mm -hmm. That is not the issue. There is a lot of money out there today. Can I also suggest to people who might be interested in wondering where they can go for, for support and grant aid, there's a wonderful website called Starting a Business in Ireland. Dot com. That's all one word. Starting a business in Ireland. Dot com, and it contains all of the information that's available, all of the people who support startups, where they can go for money, and a whole bunch of other things. It's, okay. it's a really good website. Tom, thank you very much for joining us. Very thank interesting, you. as always. And you'll be back uh, giving us more tips on how to set up your own business very shortly. Thank you. It's going to be quite an intimidating.